Welcome to Travel Diaries, your exclusive and official travel guide for the most spectacular and beautiful places across Kenya. I'm Eve D'Souza. And I'm Nick Wangondu. Welcome again to the show. Yes, and this week, the theme we're looking at is retreats. It's all about TLC, pampering yourself, just lazing around like Nick does on exactly. a regular. <laughs> exactly what I do, you know, sit at home with cucumbers on my eyelids. Really? Okay, I shouldn't have mentioned that. That's a little that. scary. <laughs> well, I started off at the Ngong House overlooking the Ngong Hills. It was serene. It was beautiful. Really? It was like nothing I've seen before. And you get to stay in luxury tree houses or log cabins. In a tree house? Yeah. How do they bring food up to you? Yeah, you're about to find out. Okay. And after that, I headed down to the Kaya Spa at the Tribe for an all-over body scrub, a Thai massage. Oh, here we go. Huh? <laughs> I was in half. I want to move in. I want to move into the Kaya Spa. But what did you get up to? Well, I went off to Naramoa River Lodge, which promises to be an absolutely gorgeous location if you just want some nice peace and quiet and enjoying the nice, cool mountain air. After that, went off to Elephant Bedroom in Samburu. Have ah, you been there? No, never. Exactly. Elephant Bedroom in Samburu, which is absolutely gorgeous. Show off. <laughs> You get to enjoy your dinner with elephants right outside your tent. <laughs> you guys are going to love this show. All right, you, you got me there. That's yeah. good. That's really good. <laughs> so whilst you're sitting on your couch, make sure you join us and experience some TLC, some pampering, some quality time, Kenyan style, right here on Travel Diaries. <laughs> say how relieved I am to be covering retreat options in Kenya this week because I desperately need one. I think we're all guilty of this. We work so hard. We put in so many hours in the office. There's stress to deal with. Your family needs uh, time with you as well. You have no time for yourself. And at the end of the day, you just burnout. Well, one great option for you to get away and relax lies only 20 minutes away from Nairobi's city center. We're at the serene and beautiful Ngong House. And I'm pretty excited about this setup because when I was growing up, my dad actually built us a tree house. So this is a little similar, except you don't have to sleep with the lizards and the trees and the dust. Think luxury, luxury tree houses, luxury log cabins. It is unique, it's different, and it is ideal for a quiet retreat. Staying at Ngong House is like staying at an intimate luxury wildlife lodge in Nairobi. It's a unique boutique hotel famous for its tree houses on stilts with stunning views of the Ngong Hills. Accommodation is mainly in luxurious tree houses designed with extreme comfort in mind. Every unit is different in design. Some have two levels with bedrooms upstairs and living areas on the lower floor raised 15 feet from the ground to gain an uninterrupted view of the Ngong Hills over unspoiled bush. Although you will be staying in tree houses, you will enjoy a very high degree of luxury. Four poster beds, crisp linen, and exquisite gourmet food are just the beginning. Well, I'm going to be staying in a log cabin, which we'll check out in a few minutes. But first, Gong House is known for their tree houses. And this is how it works. They have six tree houses. Each and every single one is different and unique in shape and style in the interior design. So it's a different experience every time you come back here. So this is an example of one of the tree houses. I'm already feeling like a little girl, all excited because you get to climb up the stairs through the trap door into your very own treehouse. And as I said, don't think just a basic treehouse. This is luxury. Come see for yourself.
The log cabin is perfect for families and sleeps up to six people. It has a very earthy yet sophisticated feel and you tend to feel very at home as soon as you walk in. It also comes with your own pool table to enjoy. Breakfast and lunch are served in the garden under a canopy of acacia trees. And if you're lucky, the resident dogs will opt to keep you company as well. In the evening, the staff will light your unique fireplace and pamper you with a special dinner set up within the privacy of your cabin. And there you go. It's amazing that you can be in Nairobi and feel like you found a safe haven away from the city life and it's waiting for you right here at Ngong House. But my search for the perfect retreat hasn't ended. I'm on my way to a world-class spa right here in Nairobi. But first, let's catch up with Nick, who decided to get out of town and enjoy the crisp mountainside air. <music> Partly obscured, nestled 6,500 feet above sea level and providing the perfect serenity at the base of Mount Kenya is the Narrow Moru River Lodge. Situated on the equator between Nyeri and Nanyuki, the lodge is a mere two-hour scenic drive from Nairobi. This exotic specialty lodge was created to enhance nature's beauty with modern features. Today on Travel Diaries, I'm visiting the countryside, taking in the breathtaking views, amazing landscapes that our beautiful country has to offer. Now, whilst Eve is at the Ngong House, I'm going to be here enjoying the cool mountain air at Naramora River Lodge. Stay tuned. Flanking a part of the famous Naramora River, the lodge is a magnificent getaway from the hassles of city life to a respite for singles, couples and families searching for tranquility, blanketed in a serene environment. The hotel offers a range of accommodation and the rooms are reached by winding paths leading through colourful flower gardens. Ranging from a campsite to bunkhouses to the more luxurious rooms. Standard rooms which offer accommodations in twins and ensuite facilities. The superior rooms feature accommodation in twins, triple and double beds. Most of these rooms have a fireplace and interconnecting rooms ideal for families with young children. Finally, the country homes are three bedroomed homes ideal for families and small parties requiring private venues. All the country homes feature private compounds, fully equipped kitchenette with table and dining rooms. The lodge offers a spacious dining room which overlooks the pool and the mountain. Now, there's a lot of reasons why people take time off work. One could be a change in scenery, two could be a relaxing atmosphere, three could be just enjoying time with friends and family. But whatever the case is, finding a place that suits your needs at best could be hard. At worst, it could be quite impossible.
Recreational facilities include a tennis court, a squash court, a sauna, as well as biking along beautiful nature trails by the river. There are many wonderful activities which can be undertaken while out there in the middle of natural settings. These activities include swimming at the heated deck level swimming pool with stunning views of Mount Kenya, expeditions on wild nature trails, many interesting games and activities can be planned to enhance the entire getaway experience. Afternoon at the lodge can be wild away relaxing in the beautiful gardens or watching clouds settle over the peaks of the mountain or exploring the forest either on foot or for the more sporty biking through the challenge course with the calls of the birds as your only company. Undisputedly, the lodge makes for a charming weekend retreat. Now, I've had an amazing day today, breathtaking these beautiful sights and sounds. And you know what, for those of you interested in having a really good time in a place where it's beautiful, serene, quiet, be it single, in a relationship, with your family, even friends, this is the place you want to be, Naramura River Lodge. Come down, enjoy it. I know I am. You're watching Travel Diaries in association with the Kenya Tourist Board.